guys, good morning and welcome back to Jason Tumakas Realty. So ngayon po, meron akong gustong isa yun na project ng SM Development Corporation. Now we have a very important person joining our panel of experts. He is the president of SM Development Corporation. It's an honor to welcome Mr. Jose Mari Banzon. Jo Mari, what makes uh, Shore Residences special? Well, what makes Shore Residences special are number one, the location, number two, the project itself, and number three is the community activities that we have here. Let me start with location. Shore Residences is actually in the Mall of Asia uh, complex here in Pasay, next to Manila Bay. Now, it's very accessible from any point from Metro Manila because you have four major roads that converge here. EDSA, yeah, EDSA ends here in the south, coming from the SLEX, uh, coming from Batangas and Laguna and Muntinlupa area. You take the SLEX and then pass through Naia X and it ends up here in the Mall of Asia complex area as well. And then Cavite Coastal, if you're coming from Cavite, and Ross Boulevard itself that feeds into Manila. So it's very accessible. It's probably one of the most accessible developments uh, in the country. So what do you see when you get here? We're next to the bay. As you know, in any, anywhere, not only in, only in the Philippines, bay area properties uh, carry a premium. Uh, and if you invested in a unit that has a sea view, again, that is uh, very valuable. Even in the bay, if you're very uh, sporty, you want to exercise, you get to jog or you get to walk or even bike in the, along, along Manila Bay. Let's talk about the establishments here. Within walking distance is Mall of Asia, which is not only uh, among the biggest malls in the Philippines, but in Asia as well. Uh, you can spend uh, the whole day in Mall of Asia and you'll still have to come back the next day. Next to Mall of Asia, next to this the area you can walk is the arena, which is the sports and uh, concert stadium, 15,000 uh, seating capacity. Also in the same area, if you, are, you have conferences, is SMX, the convention center, one of the biggest convention centers in the Philippines. The latest addition here, which is uh, the IKEA, IKEA store, at first in the Philippines actually, and it's going to be the biggest in the world. We don't want to downplay the fact that we are in the uh, entertainment area of Metro Manila, where you have three major casinos. Very vibrant uh, location. So the location is perfect. It's accessible. And when you're here, you don't even have to go out anymore. Now let's talk about the project itself. Now Shaw, Shaw Residences is, um, carries our traditional uh, offerings. I mean, SNDC. Uh, the lobbies are uh, hotel-like. We, uh, we get international designers and make it uh, uh, hotel-like. It's very strong air conditioning very comfortable seating, very nice interior design. You can actually spend a whole day just, just hanging out there in, the, in, the, in our lobbies because it's very, very comfortable. Our amenities are sprawling. It's, we, we, we make sure that it's like a resort-themed amenity. Here's the first phase. We have four towers that we've completed. Six swimming pools, six large swimming pools, even a lap pool. And then you have a, and then you have a, a jogging path, you have a gym, you have a dance studio, uh, very nice function rooms overlooking the the amenity area. It's, 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 it's really beautiful. You probably won't even want to, to go out anymore. And if, you, if you're hungry, you go down uh, in the ground floor. You have a bank, you have convenience stores, you have spa for your massage. Actually, there are two spas there. Wow. You have a coffee shop and a lot of very fine restaurants and even parlors. Now, in the community, um, we have a property management company uh, that's Green Miss, and they make sure that the residents um, get to know each other. So there's actually a community spirit. So we sponsor weekend markets where people from outside and also from in uh, from, from residents here they, they bake something and they, they offer it in this um, market uh, place, weekend market place like Changge that we that we organize on weekends. We have a lot of um, uh, community activities like uh, working with the Red Cross for, for blood donation. Uh, we even have a vaccination program. So we take care of vaccinating the, the residents. So a lot of things are going on here every weekend uh, because, well, during the weekday, the people go to work. But on weekends, uh, there's more than enough things uh, going on here. They don't really have to get out. So that puts a lot of value in the uh, shore residences as an investment. Wow, that was impressive, right, Dan? Amazing. Okay, Mr. Benson, which is our unit here? 
which is units. the best. Actually, <laughs> units, go yeah. to me Actually, and to Marie. Two units here. Uh, they're all both being rented out. It's very easy to rent out units here. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. Earlier, Cindy showed us a two-bedroom unit. What other configurations do you have here? And what configurations do you have? So we'll take a tip. Okay, actually our standard uh, units here are 27 to 30 square meters. Yeah. Uh, we don't make them too big because we need to make them affordable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, But uh, many people who want bigger space just get two or three and then they just combine them. Mm -hmm. So you can have two bedrooms or three bedrooms, mm -hmm. depends on how many units you, you, you buy. The 27 to 30 square meter unit is a one bedroom unit, uh, but it's complete. It has a kitchen, it has a living room, it has a, a dining room and it has a bathroom. So it's, it's fully functional. For everybody watching at home now, you've seen the beautiful amenities at Shore Residences. You've started to picture yourself building your home here like us. I'm sure your next question is, can you even afford this place, Mr. Banzon? This is for you. When is the right time to buy real estate property? Anytime is always a good time to buy real estate property. I think, I think history will show you that the real estate doesn't really go down. It always appreciates. So uh, now is particularly good time because, um, as you know, things are a little slow now because of the uh, pandemic. So you wouldn't want to uh, lose this opportunity. After we recover from the pandemic, things are going to, to pick up again. Wow. I'm actually crunching the numbers right now. And, you know, it's a good thing that we have in our panel today one of the leading commercial real estate brokers in the Philippines, Mr. David Lee Chu to talk to us about the money matters. You were saying that the time to invest is really now with yeah. real estate. We were talking about it earlier. Yeah, so let's look at the, the Philippines in the last 20 years and what happened. So despite all that you see in the news about all that noise, political noise and economic noise, the reality is that per capita income in the Philippines have doubled in the last 20 years. And because of that, property prices have increased significantly in the last 12 years. Mm -hmm since the very first SMDC project up to today, in 12 years, those property values in SMDC, uh, like, like shore residences, have gone up by as much as three to four times in that 12 year period. That's one of the highest returns anywhere in the world. What wow. used to be only 1.5 million pesos per unit is now fetching 7 million per unit. Wow. What used to rent for seven, 8,000 pesos a month is now renting for 24,000 pesos a month. It, again, if you look at it in any metric, it will give you some of the highest yields anywhere in the world. Wow. And I want to ask you, David and Jo Marie also, uh, how, what about rental potential? Because a lot of my friends, uh, they would uh, buy condos and in the end they would have it rented for. What are the, can you shed us some light about the rental potentials of this property? I'll tell you now, right now, uh, short residences, because this is phase one, and we have, the, which we've already fully uh, sold out, uh, turned over. We have phase two, which is in the process of being turned over, and phase three, which is still being sold. Now for phase one here, where we are, where we have four towers, it's fully occupied. About 20% um, is uh, owner occupied, and 80% is rented out. Uh, wow, so 80% so it, rented out. It's wow. fully occupied. And um, actually part of the, uh, the commercial area, there are a couple of real estate brokers who focus on just renting because that's how big the demand is. Mm -hmm. So here in this area, it's very easy to rent out your, your, your units. Mm -hmm. uh, this is actually a, a request that we got recently asking for 120 units that they're looking for, but we can't provide it. What? Wow. Yeah, because th th there's just a big demand from... from people working in the area yes and a lot of i know of a lot of overseas filipino workers who would buy units and then just have it rented out and when they come back to the philippines that's when they'll occupy it yeah we have a rent uh, rental company uh, with actually smdc leasing yes. uh, that actually complements the the other outside rental uh, property brokers uh, that have their offices downstairs. You won't have any problem getting your tenants here. Yeah. Speaking of that, there are many people watching around the world right now and they're seeing just how Shore Residences is a great investment. So I also have a question for you because Tim and I actually have foreign partners and yes. can foreigners invest? Under the Philippine uh, law, up to 40% of the available units can be purchased by foreigners. So that uh, in our whole complex, phase one, two, and three, about 
twenty percent already uh, bought by foreigners. So there's still another twenty percent that's. Available. But they have to name it under their Filipino yes, partner. Yes, is that, no, no, is that no, no, the no, case? No, no, no. <laughs> no, it can be. In, oh yeah. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're smart. For our purpose. <laughs> <you're smart. laughs> but then uh, they are they are allowed to uh, to buy properties here up to forty percent available units, okay. and we actually have a lot of uh, foreign uh, foreigners that own pro units here, and they rent it out. Um, and it, when, during the turnover, because many of them can't come down here, we have this virtual turnover mm, where, wow. yeah, because everything's virtual now. So, so our people will show them their unit and do their, their punch list and so on. So we make it very, we use uh, technology to make it very easy yes. for them to, uh, not only to buy, but also to accept the units. In, and uh, some people uh, bulk buy it too, right? Oh, yes, many people buy uh, bulk uh, just to rent. Yeah. And of course, it's easy to pay yes. because you have a lot of these uh, online uh, payment options mm -hmm. uh, right. that's available now. Yeah. So I've been taking I've been taking down mental notes from all the things that you guys have been saying. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm curious, David. What are the factors that we should consider when buying property? A, a big chunk of it is the developer's ability to deliver the product because everyone can print a brochure, very nice brochures. And the question is how quickly can they deliver the property and how well can they deliver the property? And then once they turn it over, how quickly can they title the property? Because without the titles to your name, you won't be able to go to the bank to refinance it. And third would be, I would say, the property management. And then fourth would be the amenities. And again, I think if you look at the entire market, and you can do this fact checking yourself, but SMDC provides the best and the biggest amenities in the market you know per capita per unit and w w whatever other ratio you want to look at it actually everything that david said in the checklist shore residences has it all it's yes. a sh short sure thing it's a short it's thing. A sure exactly. thing right <laughs> so talking about investing my friend kit here has started investing so i know you bought your first property uh, tell us about the experience, Kit. Experience of buying property. Well, first I had to figure out how much money am I willing to spend on a property and where would this property be. So what I did was I decided to get a property that would be close to my job because I'm actually from uh, the province, Angola City. So, oh. you know, Manila, Manila is where I work. So I wanted to get something here. In terms of like how I acquired the property, I got I got the property through a bank loan. Investing, yes. Yeah. But, yeah. but in line with that, we make um, investing very easy in that uh, we make it affordable. One priority that we have is to make sure that we match the monthly payment to the cash flow of our buyers. Mm -hmm. So we normally uh, tell them to pay maybe 12 to 15% uh, uh, over about 30 months. No down payment, just a reservation fee of 25,000. And then you start paying maybe about 25, 30,000 a month. Uh, after about 30 months, the bank comes in. So if you, if you, if you notice, it's very affordable. Yes. It matches the, the cash flow of the, of the So buyers. it's zero interest. Yes. Zero interest. So that's a service that you provide, extra service that you well, provide? Well, it's our standard payment term. We also have payment terms where you pay 5% uh, upfront. As a matter of fact, we have a promotion now up to the end of the year. Uh, where if you pay uh, five percent, you get a ten percent discount okay. on, on the on the on the price. We try to make it affordable. Okay. So, what do you think of David's checklist? Perfect. <laughs> Everything's there. The developer's uh, track record is important, yes. of course, because you wouldn't want yes. you wouldn't have want to have uh, but this your investment mm -hmm. right wasted because they don't finish the project. And that's happened to a lot of people. Yes, mm, that's right. Yes. Yes. As David pointed out, as I, I spoke about earlier, the amenities. You need to be happy living there. Yes. Yeah. So the amenities need to be generous, like this one. Mm -hmm. The lobby is very nice, and the property management is important. In the case of SMDC, we have our own property management company called Green Mist that manages all the developments that we, we've turned mm -hmm. over because we don't want to leave after we turn over the units to the buyers. Mm -hmm. We need to uh, make sure that it's maintained the standards that we promised. Mm -hmm. So make sure that the, the, the grass is trimmed, the buildings are painted, the, the tiles, broken tiles are replaced, the lobbies are always clean and, and the air condition strong. Even if it's 10 years old, it's still, uh, we try to maintain it as if it was day one. Mm -hmm. So property management is very important. Right. If you look at two metrics, right? The first metric is how has the market priced the developer? And the developer is SMDC owned by SM Prime. And SM Prime is the largest company in the Philippines by market cap. It is also 
trading at anywhere between 45 to 50 times PE, mm -hmm. which in anywhere in the world is one of the highest stocks, most, most premium price stocks in the world at 50 times earnings. And then if you look at the asset, it's been appreciating 3x in just 10, 12 years. And that just shows you the uh, what how the market is taking these products. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't be priced like this if there were no buyers happily buying and continuing to mm -hmm. buy their assets and their products. I'm always asked about this pandemic and how we should treat the pandemic and what's going on with the property market. I can share that the property market has been extremely resilient despite a 10% contraction in the economy and despite a contraction of as much as 30% in certain rental markets, property values continue to hold. And as Jo Marie mentioned earlier, time will correct whatever mistakes you think you made in real estate. For as long as you're able to hold the long term, you will be rewarded handsomely. And if you look at the last 60 years, Despite all the stuff that we've been through as a country, real estate has been the best holder of value and investment in the Philippines. And that's during the pandemic, yeah. the values have held up. Mm -hmm. uh, the ADB just released uh, a couple of days ago that uh, they forecast uh, Philippine growth to be at 4.5% this year. Mm -hmm. So there will be growth. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to miss the boat, you want to invest now. People are realizing that this pandemic is not going to be here forever. And when it starts, if the property values have held up strongly, even during the pandemic, expect what would happen after things have calmed down. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Well, and despite of the pandemic, it's still good to invest. So that's really our message to the people watching right now is that we should still invest because times are going to be better. And imagine if right now it's like this, mm -hmm. it's going to go up like that, right? Yeah. Thank you again, David and Jo Marie, for answering our questions. You know, money really does matter in this day and age, and we all need to put and just really invest ourselves, and not just invest ourselves, invest wisely at that. Thank you, Anne. It was great to hear from you. On behalf of everyone here today, we wish you all well. May you stay healthy, happy, and safe. I am Tim Yap. And I am Marie Lozano. And this is It's, it's a, a Short, short thing. thing. So yan po, sana nagustuhan nyo yung project and mag-subscribe po kayo sa YouTube channel. Again, this is Jason Tomacas Realty at tuparin mo ang iyong mga pangarap.